ان الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله قال تعالى بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر ان الانسان لفي خسر الا الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم نعمتان مغبون فيهما كثير من الناس الصحه والفراغ او كما قال عليه الصلاه والسلام رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب زدني علما اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا سبحانك لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته الحمد لله once again we are back with our weekly reminder weekly short lecture before starting with today's subject i would like to remind about our last week's challenge for good deeds and that was about quran as our subject was about quran so the challenge for last week was to get cl- closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through quran to believe in quran the way allah wants from us to recite quran to learn quran to understand the meaning to ponder on the uh, uh, on the meanings of quran on the uh, on the message of the quran and to implement in our life and to convey to others so inshallah hopefully we have been doing that and now today our uh, subject for today is about self evaluation and goal setting so as we are about to uh, witness the new islamic year and we are in the end of the current islamic year so we need to see how we have spent this past 12 months and what our goals are for next 12 months the sura i recited wal asr inna al insana la fi khusr allah is taking out allah is swearing on the on, on time that indeed we are in great loss as human being we are in great loss except the exception is for the ones who believe who are believers and with that not only believer but wa amilu salihat they are also doing good deeds and with doing good deeds they are enjoying one and other on the truth and with that they are enjoying one and other on patience so wa tawasaw bil haqq wa tawasaw bis sabr and the hadith i mentioned in the beginning it is ni'matan maghbun fihi ma kasir min an nas al sihhat wal faragh two blessing from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which most of us waste they are following two blessings time your free time and your health sihha wal faragh so your health and your free time so we need to really look into that how we should spend our time how we should um, really take care of our health and wealth and all blessings allah has given us there is one hadith which is focusing on five things before five things what i mean from here is as it is mentioned in hadith اغتنم خمسا قبل خمس take care of five things before five 
you know, really value these five things before five, thing, five things comes. And we, th they are as follows. Number one, your youth, your young age, take care of that, utilize it properly before you get older. And in old age, even if you wish, you cannot go back. So it is very important to understand that. You know, there, is, there was one guy who was once, one old guy who was one, once uh, going and looking on the ground. And he was, because of his age, his back was a bit bowed. And he was like, he was looking for something. So some youngsters went past by and they, to mock this person, they said, what are you looking for, uncle? So instead of being angry, he replied very softly. He said, I am looking for my youth. I have lost it. My young age, I have lost it. I don't know where to find it. So this was a very strong message for the youngsters who are mocking. So the reality is once your age passes by, it can never, you can no, never reverse the time. Number two is your wealth Allah has given us. So the wealth Allah has given us to utilize it properly before it goes away. It is also a chance to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Either by spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, spending on yourself, spending on your family or any other cause, but for sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number three is your time. To utilize it properly before you get busy. You know, now you have time. Before you get busy with something, then you don't have the time to do what you want to do. So do it now. Because غَدًا لَا يَأْتِي This tomorrow never comes. You know, I will do it tomorrow. And the time passes by. So it is very important to realize that also. And with that, number four, it is your health. Because with age, you get sicker, you, you get illnesses, and sometimes, in young age also, you know, your health gets worse, and you get uh, different diseases, and then you are not able to do what you could do before, when you were healthy. So take care of your health, and do what you want to do, to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now is the time. And number fifth, number five, it is, your life to to really value the life before that that before that because you see a dead body is lying even the body wants to come back and you yourself you are close to the one who is lying as a dead body you want but you cannot reverse the time so as soon the soul is taken away the time is finished for that person you know, that's why they say, the uh, people of knowledge, Ahlul Ilm, they say, Qiyamatu Sughra wa Qiyamatul Kubra. There is two Qiyamah, two day of judgment. One is Qiyamatul Kubra, when Allah, you know, will arrange day of judgment for everyone. From day one, from Adam alayhi salam to the last person, they will be presented. But one is Qiyamatu Sughra, the, uh, uh, you know, the minor day of judgment, which is, as soon you die, your day of judgment has started. Doesn't matter if day of judgment comes after 100 years, but you cannot do anything more. You can't do anything more because your day of judgment has started. Your time has ended for your good deeds. So now is the time. So we have to really, you know, as Umar radiallahu an used to say, take account of yourself before your account has taken from uh, front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of judgment. Make your own muhasaba. You know, ask yourself, count your good deeds yourself before it comes time that someone else is counting your good deeds. Angels are counting your good deeds in front of Allah, in front of everyone. So account yourself, how much good deeds do I have? Because it is about 
Manja abil hasana. Whoever comes with one good deed, not whoever does. We do many, but we don't save it. Today we earn money, we save them in saving accounts to secure the money. But we do good deeds, we don't save them in saving accounts. We waste them on bad deeds. We do one good deed, and then maybe we do five or ten bad deeds. So we wipe them away. But we have to do the other way around. If we have done one bad deed, which is in our nature that we, every time we do, as you know, we, do, we have faults and we have our shortcomings, so we, sh we should repent. And we should do good deeds. Inna al-hasanat yuzih ibn sayyat. Good deeds take away bad deeds. So it is very important to remember that. And there is a way to, you know, do a self-evaluation. And what is it that you have to see? See how your one year, previous year, you have spent one previous year. It means that this two, uh, 12 months, Islamic months from Muharram until now, Zil Hijjah, which is about to end, how have you spent? And number one question you have to ask yourself, and we have to ask ourselves, it is your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Creator. How is been? The relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has it been increased and better or it is being worse did i come closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or did i go away from allah and allah's rahmah and allah's blessing and allah's uh, um, uh, allah's rahmah so we have to see and how much of how much knowledge of deen have i tried to get in this year to uh, to make my prayer more better to make my quran reading more better to uh, understand my religion more better the business i do to to uh, do it proper way to be with family in the proper manner how much of that knowledge i have tried to you know uh, seek and our daily prayers five time daily prayer Am I praying on the time from Fajr to Isha? Am I praying on time? Am I learning the prayer properly? Am I doing the wudu and uh, you know the compulsory bath? Am, am I doing it properly? Have I, have I tried to learn that properly? So see the relation with Allah. How has it been in this past and previous year? And the number two, your relation with Allah's creation, your family, your parents who have many rights on us. How is our relation with our parents through whom we can get closer to Allah and we can enter in paradise? How is our relation with them? Number three, husband and wife, how our relation with each other have been? Through whom, once again, we can get closer to Allah and we can, uh, we can get, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jannah. Number four, our relation with our children. You know, alhamdulillah, we, we earn money and we spend on them and etc. But time, to give them time is very important also. Because al-waqt afzal min al-zahab. That time is more valuable than gold. Gold, maybe if you lose something, you maybe you can buy again. But time, once it goes, it is no maybe. It is definitely not coming back. So, it is very important to see your relation with your other relatives. Even if they are, uh, you know, far away from you, especially in this current time, year 2020, which has been different from all other years. Very, very hard to meet people, you know, especially the uh, elders of the family. But at least be close to them through your uh, so, uh, social media channels, through, uh, you know, di digital platforms, through uh, different, uh, you know, uh, you, can be in connect uh, you can be connected to them. You can get connected to them through your means which Allah has given you. So this is also blessing. Then you have to thankful 
Be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through you using them properly to get connected to your relatives, to get blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now that is also important. Then your wealth and time, as I mentioned, uh, because as siha wal faraf, two blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which most of us waste. So how are you taking of your own health? Because your body has rights on you. So how are you taking care of that? Your sleeping time, your eating time, and your um, etc. exercise, etc. What are you doing for your body, your health? And your wealth, which Allah has given you, how are you spending? Are you wasting? Are you, be, be, are you uh, 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 kind of stingy with it? You are not even spending on you and your family. How are you spending? Are you wasting? But because both is wrong. You have to be in the middle way. And your career, how are you focusing on that? Because your career is about not only about this world, it's about Akhirah also. So through your career, you can earn Akhirah. What are you doing for the society? And in end, how much have you put your effort for the Islamic or for Islam in the manner uh, which, is, which is comes to a society or um, your way of uh, getting connected to people to introduce Islam in different manners, in, diff in your work field, in, in the family, uh, to your neighbors, in society, etc. So this all f fields matter because it is very important that we know that Allah knows us better than ourselves. That's why Allah is saying, Allah knows what you have inside you and what is hidden also. What does it mean when you go to uh, um, a doctor to learn what is inside you? It will tell you. But sometimes there is something which even you don't know, even the doctor doesn't know. It comes through, you know, um, uh, through uh, research and through uh, checkup and through etc. different things. Then you get to know after that. But Allah knew from before. And Allah knows more than yourself, more than doctor who are searching and who are, you know, scratching uh, to see what you have. But Allah knows it from before. So Allah knows everything. And to be, for us to know more about us, we have to know the rule. Man arafa rabbahu, arafa nafsahu. The ones who knows their Rabb, their Creator, they will be knowing more about themselves also. And do, do not be, Allah is saying, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ That be not, do not be like the ones who forget Allah. Because if you forget Allah, Allah will make you forget yourself also. Purpose of life, Allah will make you forget the purpose of life. So we, not, we need to know the purpose of our life. It is just not this dunya, it is akhirah. So with that, we, not, we need to know now, we are ending, we are about to end our um, one year, whole year of, uh, of 12 months we have been spend, uh, you know, uh, spending of our life. And now we will face, if Allah gives us uh, more to live, we will face and witness a new Islamic year. So what we have to do, there is three things really uh, as advice. One is to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the good deeds Allah has given us ability to do. So all the good, good deeds we have been doing in this year, we should be thankful to Allah because لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَعْزِيدَنَّكُمْ If you are thankful, Allah will give us ability to do more. So be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the good deeds Allah has given us chance to do that. So first of all, thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all good, good deeds Allah has given the chance for us to do. Number two, to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all bad deeds we have been doing in any manner, to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to ask Allah to save us from bad habits and bad doings in future also. So that is number two. One is to be thankful. The other one is to seek forgiveness for all the things we have been doing. This is in what we have been doing in past. Goal setting for next year. Number three is to set your goals. How will you 
come closer to Allah? How will you be better to your family? How would you uh, seek more knowledge of Islam? How would you serve your society? And how would you prepare for, your, uh, for la- life uh, uh, which is coming after you? That because al kayis man dana nafsa wa amila lima ba'd al maut. The one who, has, who is clever according to hadith is the one who prepares for the life hereafter. So may Allah give us ability. This is our challenge for this week to do these three things once I, I have mentioned. One is to be thankful to, for all good deeds Allah has given us. The second one is to forgive, seek forgiveness for all bad deeds we have been doing and bad habits we have been having. And the number three, to have goal setting, to set goals for next year, what we want to achieve to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to get bless, better place inshallah in life hereafter. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.